Yo, what's up, guys? I am back with another banger video. I asked you guys to send me your project files, and I will fix them in this video. I hope so. I was not expecting a lot of submissions, but I got a bunch of projects. I cannot show every project in a single video, but I will make a series to cover all of them. So, drop a like if you want more videos like this. Without wasting any time, let's dive into our first project by Adnan. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Hello, Anna Sami. Nice name. Your music is such an inspiration to me. Thank you so much. And I deeply believe that you can save my track from dying. I need your help in mixing and making this track emotional but in a loud way. Alright bro, I got you back. Let's check out his track. I love the track idea and the build up is pretty cool to be honest but the intro and verse are a bit empty. So let's start with the intro. As you can see there's not much element just a melody loop and vocal loop so I will add some ambience. Alright now it sounds nice also it needs a nice impact. This one is a bit weak. Sounds perfect. I will also add a Reese bass for a nice low end. Now to make it sound more full, I usually add a synth with repeating root notes of the track. And for that I will use tuner shots with reverb and delay. Also I am adding fruity filter automation to like make it more dynamic. And in this portion we have the snap, I mean like perk. So I will add a snap with a reverb on it. Alright now I will add transition elements like crashes and sweeps for a better transition. Also I am introducing the top loop a bit before with the filter so it gives a nice fade in effect for a smoother transition. Now one thing I am noticing that this portion is a bit unnecessary like we can remove it and switch it up to build up. Like if you are planning for vocals then it's fine but for an instrumental track like this with only vocal chops or like ad lips it's better to have a short intro and break. So as you can see the track starts at 3 seconds and the drop is at 1 minute which is quite long for a track without vocals. You can even compare it with other songs. The drop usually starts at 30 to 45 seconds. I duplicated the arrangement and removed this part so if you add original vocals you can use your old arrangement. Alright let's work on the Build up. And the first thing I will do is to add more snares. Now usually to glue all of them I add cashmere essentials but I don't know if you have it so I will use fruity compressor instead. Now to make it smooth I will add reverb automation and at last a volume automation to control the volume. Let's start working on the drop. First thing I am noticing is that you are using a drum loop with a very weird kick. Also I guess your main inspiration of this track is from the synth loop. I don't know why you are not side chaining your drop synths. It's very important thing in the drops. So let's add a side chain. I hope you have kick start. Oh wait you have kick start too. So let's use it. Alright now let's add some nice drum samples. These are for my upcoming sample pack. I am a bit confused so if you are using this synth loop as your main inspiration, I don't know why your baseline isn't following the baseline of this loop. Maybe you wanted a slightly different baseline but I'll copy the exact baseline so the synth glues nicely to the track. Let's process the mid bass now. I added wave shipper, OTT and EQ to cut the sub bass. Now let's add a separate sub bass. Let's add more layers. As you can hear how it makes it sound more full. Now let's work on the drop leads. 
So the first thing I'm noticing is that you're not removing the reverb from the presets. So in the drops, you should remove the reverb from your drop leads, chords and basses and add separately. So like you have more control over the reverb instead of having like five different reverb or five different presets. You know what I mean? Now I've linked all the layers to this bus. Now let's add some effects. Just some distortion. I think we can make this layer a bit wider with hyper dimension. Now I will add some more lead layers to make it sound close to the original. So I will remove these chords because they are too bright and we need some more soft and wobbly chords if that makes sense. Now the real magic will happen. I will export the leads, chords and bass and I will chop it manually to follow the same rhythm as the synth loop. Now to fill the space, I will add reverb automation. So I'm going to use Serum FX for it. So just enable reverb, assign the macro to the mix knob and then enable the note latch. That's it. Now I will work on some little details like drums and ear candies. Also I change the clap. And some top loops in the second part of the drop. Now let me use this game changer thing. So I'm using Erosion, like it's a clone of Ableton Erosion. It's a free plugin. You can find it on Google. Just search it. I also added a multiband compressor and EQ to shape it a bit more. After some final adjustments, the track sounds like this. And I hope your vision is to have a drop like this. Alright, now let's move on to our next track by Pokey Music. Another sick track, let's start working on it ASAP. If you're using Serum 2, let's add Core Defendant to add little bit more texture to it. Then again, you know the drill. I will add bunch of ambience and some tremolos. Now, I think a sub drop would be dope. Also, I will add a Reese bass. I think that is for the intro for now. Now let's start working on the drop. The drop idea is pretty dope. Like I love the A and B part in the second part of the drop. It's pretty crazy. The synth is also sick. But like I don't like this bass tab. Can be my preference. So let's change it to something like short and tight. This sounds nice. I hope for you too. Now the lead is nice. But it needs a bit more character. I feel like we can do A and B part in the first drop too. Like with a different synth. Then I worked a bit off camera and added small ear candies like drum fills, top loops and effects in the drop. I replaced the intro melody with a vocal chop.
it sounds pretty cool. And after all those little details, it sounds like this. Let me know what you think. Did I fix it or make it worse? Drop your opinions in the comments. Hopefully it sounds good. I'll send back the project to you ASAP and you can do whatever you want with it. You don't need to give credit to me. Again, it was not possible to show all the projects in a single video. But if you guys like this video and want more of this series, drop a like so it helps with the algorithm and subscribe the channel for amazing content. And if you want to support the channel, you can check out my atmospheric sample pack volume 2, serum 2 sound bank and all project bundle with 10 FLP remix of your favorite artist at anasavinmusic.com. It's the best way to support the channel so I can keep making these videos. I will meet you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. You can use your own lyrics. Ah! You can use your old. So you can use your old. So you can use your old. And you can see. <laughs>